Hi, I am Leandre at Chamberlain Strubens Valley. I have been a lighting and decor expert since 2019. Today we will be talking about wooden furniture renovations. Firstly, we will be sealing wooden furniture and painting wooden furniture. Sealing wooden furniture, sandpaper, whether it be sealing or painting furniture, this step is highly recommended. Go down to your nearest Chamberlain's and get the following items from our friendly staff. If you have a lot of energy, sandpaper and a sanding block. You will need a various grit from 100 to a 220 grit. This is medium to fine. You will also need steel wool for every nook and cranny, a paintbrush and wood sealer. For time and effort saving, we suggest an orbital sander. A belt sander will do more harm than good. We suggest an entry level orbital sander. Sand from medium to fine, successively wiping away the dust with a damp cloth. The sanding will only take out superficial marks. Do not attempt to take out deeper chips. Leave them to illustrate authenticity and provenance of your family heirloom. We stock a wide range of quality products for sealing your wooden furniture. We recommend Woodock 5. Brush on until it's evenly applied. Allow to dry overnight and apply a second coat after sanding it with a 220 grit sanding paper. Wipe with a wet cloth to remove the dust and the next day apply your final coat. Lastly, painting wooden furniture. The easiest is to paint straight onto the varnish with a non-drip enamel like Velvet Glow. You just need to lightly sand the surface first. You can use a very fine sandpaper or you can use steel wool. If not varnish, break it down by sanding it with steel wool. Paint on a pink wood primer and then paint with any paint. Chalk paint is very popular because you can paint almost anything with it and you don't need to prepare the surface. With chalk paint, you must finish off with a finishing wax sealer. If you don't, any finger marks and dirt will sit on the furniture. I prefer to keep wood as is. If you want to restore the wood to its original luster, sand it down and add a good coat of sealer. If there are small scratches or pinholes, you can use a wood filler to fill it up. Sand the surface to get it even and then apply your varnish. It might seem like a lot of effort, but trust us, once you've seen the end result, you will know it was worth the effort. Chat to one of our friendly experts in store. They are trained to help you find the right quality product that will suit your need. For any further wood renovation questions, visit one of our eight paint centers. We look forward to helping you. Chamberlain's famous for hardware and paint since 1903.